Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm sure you've seen the introduction that I put out uh, yesterday morning. Hope um, you guys enjoyed it. Now, at the end of that, there was uh, the highlights from the preseason. I've played all of that. Of course, if you want to go and have a look, um, I've popped a card just above for you, uh, for you to go back. Um, at the end of the video is the highlights from all of the games from preseason. I think other than um, a nil-nil draw with Spurs and a one-nil loss uh, at SC Freiburg, we did all right. Um, at the beginning of this video, what I want to do is just talk about where we are in terms of how it works on FM with having a club in administration, um, where I've settled in terms of tactics, how injuries are looking, how the finances are looking, all of those sorts of things. And we'll get into that first game against Huddersfield. Hopefully we come away with three points, although you see when we go through things, it's going to be a tough challenge. Let's get over there. So I'm just going to start things off. I just want to take a look at the injuries because everybody knows uh, what was going on with Derby. They only had 14 first-team players. Um, bearing that in mind, you can't afford too many injuries. The only option you've got, I mean, that wasn't even enough to meet the minimum requirements for the league, um, regardless. So, you know, you have to promote um, players from the under-23s, etc. And they just got to sit on the bench and you've got to hope you don't use them. So... Just taking a look at where Derby is currently, um, you'll be able to see here, I've got six first-team players out of um, the 25 that I, that I took, which included 11 players that have come up from the youth setup. Um, six out on long-term injuries, some of them important players to the squad. You'll see here, uh, we've got cruciate ligament, four to five months. I mean, that's basically the season done. Um Another player here, two to three months, Sam Bolder. Kazim Richards, who I know just from experience in, in terms of being a Forest fan, that, you know, he's someone who can make a difference in that Derby squad. And he's out for three months. Jason Knight, another regular starter, out for a month and a half. A couple of players that are nearly back from, from injuries, and I, I haven't had... Um, too much time to really look at those because, like I say, they've been out for a few weeks. I've got Ravel Morrison, who is an important player, who's just come back. So we're in a bit of a mess. We've got a big injury crisis. Um, I mean, if we take a look at the squad here, that's the full squad. There's, you know, I mean, in those friendlies, I didn't even have enough players to put out the full sort of 12 subs you're allowed. So it's, it's tough. I mean... If you, we have a look at this, so this is what we're playing with. It's it's rough. Um, we've got three goalkeepers. I don't know why we've got three um, on the first team because I, I think looking at this, we've got more goalkeepers than we have, you know, centre halves, which is amazing. Um, tactically, I played around with things a lot. And I don't actually have that many options because I'm restricted by this small squad. I have managed to get three together. There's one that I touched on in the first video, and I've not really used it. I used it once. It didn't really work. Um, and I don't really know why, but, you know, it is what it is. The ones that I've been sticking with is this, um, where we're playing... Five at the back, but we've got a wing back on the right hand side um, who's a bit further forward. Then we've got a wing back on the left hand side who's playing all the way back, but I've got him on attack to, to push forward when needs be. Now, this setup I, I, I came up with mainly, if I'm honest, because I'm expecting, because of the quality of the side, to have constant pressure, especially from the teams in the championship that, you know, are really, really good teams. You know, we're talking about the West Broms um, of the league. And, and they're the ones that I'm going to really struggle against with the squad. Um, what you'll notice here as well is, because of injuries, we don't actually have an out-and-out -out striker. Not a decent one, anyway. Um, this is who I've had to go with, which is um, someone actually promoted from the youth team. 
he's done all right. I mean, you, you saw the, the preseason sort of highlights. Um, if you haven't, again, I'll link the card above for you at the beginning of the video. Um, we beat Chelsea 2-0. Fair enough. It was a penalty and then a, a long ball into the box that someone got their head on the end of. But we beat Chelsea. If we can beat Chelsea 2-0, we can beat anyone. Or at least that's that's what I've got to tell myself. Um, this has been working it for me um i'm a bit skeptical about how it's going to work in the league just in terms of when we're in possession playing out of defense but we'll see what happens um and the games where i'm feeling slightly more confident um or the games where i think we need a bit more strike force as long as i can get two strikers on the pitch um is this one now i know it looks like this it looks well there's a big gap here scott what's what's going on but you'll see here what i do if we're losing the, the ball quite a lot in the middle is i move the defensive line forward and i move the line of engage the uh line of engagement back so what we've got then is a very busy midfield um hopefully these should work um in transition is is very sort of um simple really we, we want to regroup. I'm expecting we're going to lose possession a lot. So I want the players to come back and behind the ball to defend. Um, when we've won the ball, I need them to push forward on the counter. So I've gone with the counter rather than the hold shape. Distribution, you'll see, was distribute to target man. That was um, something that I tried for the last game. And you'll see, we lost. It didn't work. So um, distribute to the flanks. I'm considering playing around with distribute quickly uh, rather than slow the pace down but we'll see and I don't want the goalkeeper to to play it out at the back um, this one is a much more attacking um, formation and and certainly for the games where I think we can go out there and we can get a result um, originally I was trying to work the ball into the box the you know assistant manager keeps telling me work the ball into the box it's not going to work um, so I changed that to hit early crosses I just want it to be very, very busy in the middle of the park. I've just added on that pass into space as well. So that's that's sort of an overview in terms of what I found is working in terms of tactics. That isn't the starting 11 for the next game. Um, I think we're going to have some issues here, to be completely honest. Um, this, uh, I mean, let's, let's see if I can show you the results and see if you can see how we did. Because as much as we won a couple of games here, we were getting battered i mean you're, you you we, we were very lucky with some of them i mean let's take a look at the chelsea game which i know you can't take too much from pre-season because i'm pretty certain that in the second half they basically bought on the kids um so it's it's not something you know we can go away and we can say oh we absolutely battered chelsea they played their first team they didn't they had some strong players on um so here you go you'll see um it just happened to be for them that they didn't manage to to break through the the defence and, and I was playing this tactic here with the five at the back, which was working, which is why, like I say, I can switch between the two. Um, they did have 12 shots. It just happened to be for, for some unknown reason, we were we were the better team. And and that is what it is. That's football. That's, you know, football manager. Um, I'm sure we've all had that frustration where we're, you know, in the top division in whatever country we're playing in. There's a cup game. We draw someone a couple of divisions below and somehow we get a draw or they score a winner in the, you know, 91st minute. The usual sort of football manager frustrations that keep us all coming back to the game. Um, there's a few teams I'm worried about in the league. And I'm just making an announcement now there is obviously going to be some games against Nottingham Forest. Now, for me, um, I think just because I'm a Forest fan, I'm going to holiday that game. That's the only game I'm going to holiday. I'm not going to play it. I'm going to let the Sim, you know, figure it out for itself and we'll, we'll see what happens. Otherwise, uh, for this one, um, I said I'd give you an update in terms of the finances. They're looking a bit better, but it's, it's you know, it's not a true reflection because and I, I'll show you why. Um, so profit and loss, yes, we're in profit. Five million in profit. And if you look at the income, it is because season ticket money's come in and we've sold some players. Now, the thing about a club being administra in administration is that you don't have any control about what players can be sold. The administrators decide. This lad here, I wanted to keep him. 
and it's it's looking like there's every chance we'll lose him. It's it's going to be very very tough because, frankly, from a perspective where we're working with a team and administration, all they care about, if you have a look here, is getting that debt of fifty million repaid. I mean, with well, yeah, so forty nine point two million transfer debt of five point eight million. That needs to be repaid, and that's the priority for these administrators. They don't care whether we, you know, uh, get relegated or not. They'll sell players. What we, ha- what they are doing, which I do like, is they're rejecting the majority of loan deals. They're not letting these uh, loan deals go through, which is good for me. Um, otherwise, let's get the squad ready for the game against Huddersfield. Touch wood, these preseason tactics have worked and we can at least scrape something because remember, we're starting on minus 12 points. We've got to win four games before we're even, you know, getting any points on the board. And and, and somehow I want to try and avoid relegation and, and, you know, hopefully we have some sort of miracle with the, with the tactics. Now, I have seen online that there's a lot of people, just while we are talking about the tactics again, I've seen a lot of people online talking about, oh, you need to use the gag and press. The gag and press is, is, is what you need to do. Now, for me, with F, with FM21 and, it, you know, it's known in the Football Manager series that um, it looks like we've discovered our first glitch in the beta. There we go. Um with FM21 and previous FMs, the gag and press is, is the one where you can go out and you can win every game doing that. But I feel like that's cheating a little bit. I don't want to do that. So um, I've put my own tactics together, which you can you can see. I've used the, the basis of a route one, but, but played around with it a bit. So let me get the squad together. Let's talk through my thinkings on that, and we'll head into the game. The tactics for the game. Um, I'm going for this 5-2-3 formation just because I've only got one striker. So... I've got to, I've got to make do. Otherwise, I was playing a winger up front with, with Stratton. Left it as it was, as we talked about before. Maybe I, I remove this player out of defence, but we'll see. It's Huddersfield. It's the first game of the season. I don't want to be too, um, not overly confident. No, that's not the word, but I, I want to be cautious going into this game. I want to see how they play in a, a league situation, as opposed to a um, pre-season friendly. Uh, overall, this has worked. You know, it's we've played well, so let's see how we get on. Fingers crossed. Let's see if we can get three points and, and get that points deduction down to minus nine. Come on. Right, let's get into it, boys. Ooh. Pressure is on. What I do want to do, just because I noticed on the highlights I put on the last video, they were a bit too far out for my liking. I want to uh, just bring the camera in slightly. Here we go. First highlight. Have we just scored after two minutes? Come on, boys. Great header. Bottom corner. 1-0. What a start. I told you. I told you that that um, tactic was working. I mean, this is normally the point where I say I'm one of those players that, that you know, likes to encourage the players. But I've just pressed encourage and I feel like it might piss them off. It did. It did. I mean, what an absolutely fantastic start. One shot. One shot on target. One goal. What? Oh, no words, guys. Absolutely no words. I mean, I would take a look back at that tactic. If any of you guys are doing a derby save, take a look at the tactic I'm using um, and give it a go because clearly, clearly it's, it's working. I mean, we're two shots, two on target. We're, we're dominating this game. I mean, okay, fine, fine. Let me come back down to earth. Huddersfield aren't the greatest team in the league. They're not the best team. They're not, you know, we're not playing Man U. But nevertheless, on a shots front, defensively, they've not had a shot on target. Um, 
I mean, it's relatively event-free, to be honest, looking at this. I mean, we're here's another highlight. They've had a book in, and we got a free kick on the edge of the box here. Come on, get the second. Off the bar. Oh. That's corner. And set pieces is where we were strong pre-season. Oh. Another corner the other side. Oh, keeper collects it. Let me have a play with this camera while there's no, uh, no highlight going on. I'm not a fan of this one. Uh, let's try this one. Oh, no. No, no, no. I know which one that is. I don't want that. We'll go with TV. Bring the camera height down. Bring the zoom in. Just try and make it a bit better for you guys when you're watching it on uh, on the replays. That's all. 1-0 up. And we're dominating the game. This is not what I expected from that first game out. I mean, the only thing I've probably got to moan about is... What we've we've not had most of the possession, but but anyone anyone knows that anyone that knows anything about football, sorry, knows that possession is not the be all and end all. I would suspect it's going to get more and more difficult as the season goes on, especially after that January transfer window, because we can't buy any players. Um, you won't have seen because I didn't I didn't show you what what had happened, but between um, when I was talking about sort of things before just moving the game forward to the um to the this this match day i got an email in to say that we'd agreed to restructure the debt and now i have to pay um 375,000 a month until the debt's clear which is this obviously the 50 million um i mean i bearing that in mind i won't be here for the uh, the debt being cleared in full because this is only a one season challenge and, and I want to see if I can try and push them on towards potentially a, a promotion or, or, or something or even I mean playoffs maybe get a nice cup run in there let's give them a bit of praise because that first half was fantastic absolutely fantastic I mean not not too much to shout about I suppose in by way of highlights but we're winning one nil. He has, Sibley has just got a yellow card, um, and the last thing I need is any um, suspensions because the squad's not big enough for that. Across the board, everyone seems to be performing all right. Um, Forsyth playing at left back, and and one of the and Stearman aren't playing great. I mean, Phil Jagielka. I mean, I have to admit, as a Forest fan, I did laugh more than I should have. When, when I heard that Derby had signed Jagielka. But he seems to be doing a job. His fitness is all right. And we've got a couple of players with match fitness issues. So I'm I'm happy with that. I mean, Ravel Morrison, he's only just come back from injury, although he doesn't really look like he's doing much, which is uh, good. So <laughs> I'm running out of things to say. There's not, there's not much going on in the second half. It looks like we've had a couple of shots, but nothing... Um, of note, really. Obviously, nothing was worth a highlight. There's a lot of fouls, but I can cope with that. Possession is still about the same. Passes complete is good enough. Frankly, I mean, I'd I'd be happy to to sit back here and just ride out a one nil win. Um, that bucket is concerning me. Oh, they've got a highlight here. Oh, over the bar, thank God. So let's... Uh, I'm going to just freshen things up with... Uh, Dylan Williams. just want to take him off because of that yellow. I don't want to end up in a situation where we've got, you know, some suspensions because injuries are bad enough. I don't need anything else. How many subs have they made? I hope that's only three. <laughs> Let's give them some more praise because they are playing very, very well for that first game of the season. Very, very well. Possession's creeped up slightly. They've still not had a shot on target. I mean, well, well played. I mean, we're going into the last 15 here. I don't know what their issue is. They're 
freaking winning. Uh, yeah, we've got a couple of players struggling. I mean, this, this I did say this. Um, a couple, well, probably a minute ago that we are struggling with fitness. Um, I've not really got anyone I can replace you with, mate. Louis Watson, who some for some reason is on the bench and not happy. Just for the last five minutes. I don't really want to change anything. I don't want to change the tactics. I don't want to touch any of that because it's going well. Yeah. It's another shot on target there. Obviously not nothing major because we've not had a highlight and there. Their squad's not happy, and I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, we bumped up the passes complete. We bust, uh, bumped up the possession slightly. They've had no shots on target. And in fact, looking at that, they've not even had a shot in the second half. Wait, what? What? Where did that come from? No build up. Just give me the goal. Jesus Christ. Right, I take back everything I said. Very attacking. Come on, boys. Nothing. Absolutely fuming. Oh, wait. Just ignore me completely, lads. It was disallowed. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Absolutely no idea. It will teach me to, to not pay attention and go off in a rant. I mean, it's three points from the first game. I made myself look like a bit of a, an arse because I clearly thought this disallowed goal was a goal. But it's three points. Is this really... The you know the meta formation to play with with Derby. Um, I mean anyone that's that's you know got a bit of a Derby save going on. Let me know what what formation you guys are using because it'd be nice to see what's working for other people because this is working. It's a bit weird and I don't really know why it's working, but it is. Well, three points that takes us on to minus nine. What I'm going to do, I'll push forward a few games because I want to make sure we get the full season done in the um, in the time we've got with the beta because this isn't something that, that's going to carry on after the beta, really, unless you guys tell me you really want it to. Um, if you haven't seen already, I did mention it in the last video. We do have a couple of other things going on on the channel. Um, we have a, a video that goes out once a week where we talk about the Premier League games of the weekend and what our predictions are. Um, we've got the other beta save, which is coming soon. Um, keep an eye on that because that's, that's something that's, like I say, is going to be with us very soon. The Atalanta save with Rob. Um, we're also working on in the background, some FIFA 22 content, um, with Rob and, uh, Josh. Um, there's also going to be a few other bits. If you want to keep up to date on those things, make sure you head over to our socials on the card at the end. It's got our Instagram and our Twitter on there. If you head over there, give us a follow. You, you you'll obviously know exactly when everything's released and and um if you are just here for the fm stuff that's fine um just make sure that you comment like and subscribe to the channel so that i know that you guys are enjoying it because if i don't know you guys are enjoying it then i mean uh, i don't know whether to carry the season on after the the debate is over. Otherwise, um it's been amazing spending time with you guys. Um obviously this is the first video with the league game in it. Let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, let me know any comments, maybe some ideas you've got in terms of tactics or players that I can put up front or, or what I can do because I'm not a Derby fan. I, I don't really know the team. I mean, I've looked at, at what I've got here um, and that's that's the best I can do. I mean, obviously, you can see the table here just for the evidence. Minus nine. So we're on the way. We're, you know, heading in the right direction. Only three more games and then we've got some points on the board. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. That was uh, That was a good one even if I did make myself look like a bit of an idiot.